Howdy y'all, Lynn Star Keto Girl here. So, I just celebrated my six month carniversary. Pretty exciting. I can't believe how fast this six months has gone by and, and how much I've learned and grown since then. It's pretty amazing. So I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things I noticed and what I've learned going carnivore. First of all, I was keto for almost two years before I started carnivore and I had reached my goal weight already and I was off almost all medication except for one uh, blood pressure medication without a diuretic. And uh, I had already cleared up my acid reflux. Uh, some of my rosacea was cleared up. Um, I was no longer pre-diabetic. So I pretty much dealt with most things doing keto, right? Well, there are a few things that I didn't quite clear up, like my rosacea, and I was still on that one uh, pill, blood pressure pill, and I hate taking medication. Oh, God, I hate it. So I, that was real important for me to get off that. So I decided to give carnivore a try. And uh, sure enough, the things that I have noticed is my skin is definitely clearer. My hair is doing fabulous. Even my hairdresser, this was very exciting. I just went to her the other day and she said that there's like about this much of my hair. So like right from about here, that is completely different from the rest of my hair on the way down. And she was like, I wonder if that has anything to do with carnivore because this is really weird. And so that was very exciting. So I'm real pleased with that. And my skin, again, I think I you know, mentioned that it's cleared up quite a bit. My rosacea is so much better. I used to have all these little squiggle blood vessel lines going out, kind of like what an alcoholic looks like, so ugly. And like these little bumps all around my cheeks. And then of course my nose was so red, I look like Rudolph. So it's not a good look, right? Um, I, I really definitely wanted to get rid of that. But now pretty much the, the little squiggle things are gone and the bumps are gone and most of the redness is gone. It's still more concentrated on my nose, but that's starting to fade. And I only really notice it if I'm super hot or I'm under a lot of stress. So most of the time it, it looks pretty decent. So that's very exciting for me and I'm happy to say that I am off all medication that's right I'm taking zero medication so that's super exciting um, that that's that's kind of a big thing but the really amazing thing that I was not expecting was this incredible improvement in my digestion and what I mean by that is gas bloating constipation. Let me just tell you, I've dealt with constipation, I know, lovely subject, since I was a little kid, and that's no joke. I'm talking painful, not not good. And uh, when, when I went keto, it did improve, and I thought that that was what you were supposed to feel like. Well, within a week of doing carnivore, where I had cut out all the vegetables and all, and of course all fiber, I couldn't believe the difference. I was like, wow, this must be what it feels like to, to, you know, not have any digestive issues. I had no clue. So bye-bye gas, bye-bye bloating, bye-bye constipation. Well, let me just tell you, that is a huge thing and it was something I was not really expecting. So, so that was kind of a huge thing. Anyway, I am thrilled to have, you know, six months down and I plan on continuing with this and I can't wait to see what the next six months holds. Anyway, if you have a few things that you haven't dealt with and you've been doing low carb and uh, keto for a while, give carnivore a try. You never know. It's not going to hurt anything. You can always go back to keto, which by the way, I love keto. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful tool and great lifestyle. Um, but if you do have a few little things or you're not getting the results you think you should be getting, maybe give it a go. What have you got to lose? Anyway, I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye, y'all.